Video games have mostly been 60 bucks a piece since, well, forever now, but once in a while a rare copy of one sells for a staggering amount of money. Here are six rare video games that sold for insane amounts of cash. Or rather, five real stories of rare games that sold for crazy prices, and one story that is a complete and total lie. Here's the catch. I won't tell you which story is fake until the end of the video, so it's up to you to hear them all and guess which one isn't real. Play along at home. Have a great time. Here we go. Manja for the Atari 2600. What's the rarest Atari 2600 game that's based on an Italian word for eat? You guessed it, it's Manja, an action-packed video game about being a kid forced to eat dozens of plates of pasta by his pushy mother. Move over, Call of Duty. This is the big one. If the kid doesn't eat the pasta or he eats too much without feeding it to his pets, which is an option, his stomach changes colors and then explodes. Gluttony. You're gonna come take a look at this. What would you pay for such a nightmarish experience? Well, somebody paid $1,150 for a complete box copy of the game in 2013. So there is your answer. Why is this kid's mom trying to kill him with pasta? Well, some questions don't get answers. Just keep eating the pasta, little boy. Eat the pasta. Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Super Mario Brothers is one of the most iconic video games ever made, with ports of the classic 1985 Nintendo Plumber platformer appearing on nearly every Nintendo console and handheld. Pretty much everyone on Earth has played it, so why would this one be rare? Well, it turns out everyone in 1985 opened up their video games to actually play them. Crazy, right? That means that still sealed copies of the first print run of Super Mario, complete with their original price tag stickers, have sold for massive amounts, like in 2017, when a sealed copy sold for $30,100, even though the sticker on the box says it originally sold for $26.99. Apparently, there are only a dozen or so copies of this specific run, and this one is in the mintiest condition. Man, imagine spending over $30,000 on a video game and having the price tag on it constantly remind you that it used to be 27 bucks. Stadium events for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Once again, proving that the most valuable part of a rare video game is the shrink wrap around it. A copy of the ultra rare 1987 NES game, Stadium Events, sold for nearly $42,000 in 2017. The unidentified seller originally sold the game to a buyer who didn't send the money over, so the seller put it back up for auction, only to sell it to a different buyer for a small fortune. Why so much, you ask? Because Stadium Events is specifically rare because it was only called Stadium Events for a short time in the 80s before being re-released under the much more commonly named World Class Track Meet. $42,000 could probably buy you an actual real life track where you could do real running and hurdling and such, but honestly, that just sounds exhausting. Konami Crazy Racers. When the Game Boy Advance launched in 2001, Nintendo opted not to launch the first portable Mario Kart Super Circuit with it, that came later on, leaving a kart-shaped hole on the dimly lit handheld system that only Konami had the courage to fill. Konami Crazy Racers was available on day one for GBA owners and featured a star-studded cast of iconic Konami game characters like Dracula from Castlevania, and Vic Viper from Gradius, and Gray Fox from Metal Gear. What makes this game so rare, you ask? Well, it turns out there was a short-lived initial test run of the game that didn't feature Taku Soki on the box, a red octopus character from a vintage game called Parodius. This version of Crazy Racer's box art is so rare that one of the very few sealed versions of it in existence sold for $3,780 in an online auction in 2016. Every version of the game still features Taku Soke as a playable character, but those early versions opted to not feature him on the box, which is nice since he looks like he's getting his ass kicked anyway. Soft porn adventure for the Atari 400. Paying real money for porn is a questionable act on the internet, usually relegated to desperate dudes at their randiest. Paying $1,350 for a game called Soft Porn Adventure for the Atari 400 is downright insane. But that didn't stop a buyer from purchasing a complete copy of this adult themed text adventure game a few years ago. Soft Porn Adventure went on to be the inspiration behind the notorious Leisure Suit Larry video game franchise. So it has somewhat of an interesting history if you find the history of perverted video games interesting. Soft Porn Adventure is about a down on his luck guy who tries to meet women at a party. And if you have an eBay account and several hundred dollars sitting around that you don't like anymore, this game can be yours on floppy disk, no less. Just a heads up that I'm not allowed to make a soft porn floppy disk joke in this video, but you in the comments, you absolutely are because your boss isn't there and mine is here. Anyway, I will now stop saying the phrase soft porn adventure for the rest of my life. And I'm sorry you had to hear it so many times today. 
Kid Icarus for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Speaking of old school NES games you probably should have never opened if you grew up playing them, a Nevada man named Scott Amos found a sealed original copy of the NES platforming game Kid Icarus, the game that first gave us Smash Brothers' Pit in his mother's attic after she bought the game for him as a gift when he was a kid and forgot to give it to him. The game was still shrink wrapped and in a JC Penny bag with its original receipt. Scott asked around and found out that the game was rare and then sold his cart for $9,000 in an online auction. Scott said he used the money to take the whole family, including his forgetful mother, to Disney to celebrate. Although he didn't specify which Disney, so it could be Land or World or Euro Disney or Tokyo Disney Sea or just a Disney store at the mall. So did you guess which of these rare video game sales stories was a lie? I'll give you a second to think about it. Is it the Italian pasta game? Super Mario Brothers, the Italian non-pasta game? Stadium events, the case of the missing cart octopus, the porn simulator, maybe the Kid Icarus Disney guy? Drum roll, it's Crazy Racers. Box copies of Crazy Racers are in fact readily available for 60 bucks on eBay and literally every single one of them has the red octopus on the box. So what's the rarest video game you own or maybe should have kept in the package so you could put your kids through college? What's the most you'd ever pay for a video game? How much pasta can you eat in a single afternoon? What about octopus? Let me know in the comments below and for all things video games, pasta and sweet, sweet soft porn adventures. Damn it, I said it again. Stick with IGN.